are there people are there a lot of victim blaming going on with regards to your story yes when i when i went to the media about my story i was very um surprised maybe i shouldn't have been surprised but some people said what was she expecting yeah, yeah. that i knew they said we told you not to go to pakistan yeah. um i was called a gold digger i was called very nasty names um and it was it was quite hard to deal with. It's it, it's always hard to deal with your detractors. Um, and but in terms of victim blaming, let me be very very clear. It wouldn't matter if I was educated. It wouldn't matter if I was uneducated. It wouldn't matter if I was naive. It wouldn't matter if I had a mental disability, physical disability, any form of incapacity, or if I was the most intelligent, articulate um brilliant person in the entire world i do not deserve to be harmed no victim should ever be blamed the who is to blame in this situation sajad and any of the co-offenders not me as for claims about gold digging um sure the idea of living in a nice spanish villa and having a comfortable life was attractive uh, it wasn't really the draw card because I was actually compelled more by the fact that I thought he was empathetic. But I can't lie and say that it wasn't attractive. Um, I think that would be something that would be attractive to many people, the idea of stability. Um, but I, I, I know that I'm not the things that, 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 that I want to put and claim me to be. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.